For those of you who said it, you were right. Well done. Since I am a bisexual, I am leaving my girlfriend for a man. Because, you know, us bisexuals can't be monogamous or faithful. So it's just inevitable that this would happen one day. Hey guys, it's Jamie, and of course I am not leaving Shaba for anybody. And I mean, there is just an equal chance I'll leave Shaba for a woman as a man, as in zero. Well, okay, fine. Let's go like 0 0.001 because nothing in life is ever guaranteed. So basically no plans on leaving Shaba for anyone. So my girlfriend and I, well, fiance and I, but that sounds a bit poncy, like when we're married, I say wife, but for now we still mostly go girlfriend, boyfriend or partner, partner. My partner, Shaba and I have been together since we were 17, just over seven years now. We never dated. We never like dated before we met. We never even dated each other because we were like best friends before. So we just went straight into like full on relationship. So basically now I'm just using the ruse of a YouTube video as an excuse to flirt with men on Grindr, something I never got to experience. And you know, every Everybody has got to experience getting sent an unrequested dick pic at some point in their lives. I'm joking, obviously. Shaba is fully aware that this video is happening. We are in a monogamous relationship, so there's no like back and forth with me and people online. I'm just letting messages roll in. So I downloaded the app Grinder onto my phone. Shaba and I created my profile together, and then every time that we went somewhere that was away from our hometown, I just opened it and let stuff roll in. I don't really know what happened. I accidentally left notifications on one time and it buzzed a lot, so I switched them off so that I didn't keep getting getting tempted to have a look and then I quit it on the way home and I just didn't want people to like recognize me at the gym or on campus or in town so I thought it just like keep it away from home. I'm just a very awkward person so the idea of getting recognized by people on Grindr made me feel awkward. <laughs> I'm just gonna read the messages that I got. Yeah. I'm calling this trans guy reacts because I'm a trans guy and I put it on my profile So I'm assuming people read the profile before they messaged me. I don't know. I think I'm nervous. <laughs> I need my glasses for this bit. Oh, they're dirty. That's right. Whew. Okay, let's go. Grinder. So we will go to the beginning of the messages. <sighs> okay, the first message is just a hi, man. I feel like that is a, a good way to ease into this. That's a dick. The, the second message I got was a dick. That's a, a hey and a dick. Hey and a dick. Cool. Hey and a selfie. Hey and the same dick. This guy sent me his dick twice, but in two separate, like, people, like, not, I just, I just have his penis on my phone twice now. Oh no. <laughs> Hang on. Are you a YouTuber? Oh, rumbled. Oh, also, I went by James on the app. Fun fact, if my surname hadn't been Reigns and James Reigns didn't sound so weird, I would have been James and then like Jamie as a nickname, but I went with Jamie because Jamie Reigns, to me, sounds better than James Reigns. But yeah, I decided to use James on here, like, I don't know. Hi James, and then two photos of somebody that is not their dick. I, I kind of appreciate that. It's like, a, hey, this is what I look like. Do you like it? You want to chat? I'm not gonna just send you my penis if you don't want it. Bunch of highs. Looking. Thank you. Oh no, I'm gonna, oh no. When I'm feeling awkward, I say thank you in like the most weird way. I'm like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then I just cringe a lot. I feel like I should say thank you because it's always nice when people compliment you. So I, I don't know, but I'm very awkward. How are you? You free? No, I'm very expensive. <laughs> hey James, well you're super handsome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hello there. Sexy, handsome man. I hope you are well. Oh, <laughs> I bet you got a nice, big, tasty, uncut cock. <laughs> and then I think they realised I was trans. Sorry, you don't have a cock, but you're still very sexy. <laughs> Thank you. I I'm very glad I'm still sexy, despite your assumption that I don't have a penis. You maybe did that a little bit preemptively. <laughs> hey man, we're looking for a hot guy to suck together. You up for that? <laughs> I appreciate the offer. Thank you. Not this time though. Fun right now? I'm fun all the time. <laughs> oh, this person sent me a bunch. They sent, it looks like they sent me photos, but they like, I don't know, can you like unsend photos? Cause I think they've unsent them. So it's like, hey, photo, you're a righty, question mark, photo, no. All sent within like half an hour of each other. <laughs> hey, wanna meet? Face pick and location, please. I like the confidence of that. Let me see if I like your face and tell me where you are. Hung top said hey and sent two photos of themselves. Discreet top said hello handsome. Hey and then somebody took a selfie lying in bed pulling a duck face. That's cool. Pick. Just, just pick. Just obviously my profile picture wasn't good enough. WW comma butt bandit space net. I, I think I will give that a miss. I'm not sure if I will check that website out. <laughs> oh, penises. 
That's a, that's a big dick, thank you. Thanks for that. Hi, you are beautiful and hot. Thank you. And then a photo of them. What up? <laughs> it got a little bit more forward than beautiful and hot. Um, okay, I, I don't know if they used the right words here, I'm just gonna read it how it's written. Wank suck, lick your balls now, till you shoot your hot load, your wishes my command. <laughs> I don't think they read my profile. <laughs> who the fuck are you? I don't know, who the fuck am I? Fun. Just, just fun. Fun, fun means sex, right? <laughs> like, it does, that was a stupid question. Sexy James. Yes, James is very sexy. It's my sexy alter ego. Hey, hi mate, are you a top or a bottom boy? <laughs> so sexy looking. Thank you. Do you meet older guys? And then some photos. Wow, he has a very hairy chest. I am, I am jealous. I'm jealous, mine is still like scraggly. That's, that's impressively hairy. Hi, you are trans? <laughs> yes, I, I am trans. <laughs> hey, looking good? Fit as, looking for fun sometimes? Sometime, oh, singular, just one off. Just one off fun. They don't want multiple fun with me. <laughs> Hi, you bottom? Up for a meet from top H&H. &H. What does H&H &H stand for? Hungry and happy, hot and horny, hung and hairy. Were they assuming I was a bottom? Just loads of, hey, how you doing? Like, I'm not gonna read them all out because it would literally just be like a compilation of me going, hi, hi, hey, hey, how you doing? Hi, how, hi, good weekend? How, hi, uh, how are you? Hi, hey, hello, smiley face. I got a photo of somebody sitting on a car. Is that a Chevrolet? I'm very impressed with myself if I got that right. So not a nice car, not my style, but I appreciate that that was probably a lot of money. They look like they're in a farm with a horse and a goat and a smashed up pumpkin and another goat and another goat and a tree. And very big sunglasses. It looks lovely. Not wanting to be ignorant, which way are you transitioning? That's sweet, just making sure. Hi, hey, hey, hi, 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 hi. Hey man, how's it going? You up for fun? Does mini golfing count as fun? Nice. How are you? And then a photo of two guys on a sofa. Nice. That's an interesting way to start a conversation. Nice. I'll just be like, good. And they'll be like, great. Hi, sexy. You are sexy as fuck. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? I'm high and horny, would you like to join me? And then three pig emojis. <gasps> is that what H&H &H is? Because they've got H&H &H in their thing. Is it high and horny? Okay. And uh, three pigs? Three little piggies? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, how are you? Sit on my face. <laughs> I appreciate the forwardness of some people. And then the last one is just, hey there, how's it going? Yeah, that was, that, that was, that was cool. That was fun and I'm not gonna lie, little bit of an ego boost. And also, like, I am pleasantly surprised. Out of like over, there must have been like over a hundred messages there. I'm probably not gonna leave all of them in because a lot of them were just, hey, how are yous and stuff. And nobody like asked me if I had a dick. Somebody assumed I didn't have a dick, their loss. But nobody said like anything negative about me being trans. And I think just based on what I'd heard about Grindr, I was kind of expecting it. I didn't want it. I just wanted to see what it was like on this dating app for a trans guy who was very open about being trans. And it was totally fine. Some people were very forward. I feel like, <laughs> I really don't take compliments well, and the more sexual the compliment or request, the more embarrassed I get. Um, <laughs> but if you guys like this video, then let me know down below. Let me know your experience of being like on Grindr or other dating apps like Tinder or anything like that. If you'd like to see me do something like this again, then let me know in the comments below. Links to social media things such as Instagram in the description box below if you want to go follow me in there. If you like this video, think about giving it a thumbs up and subscribing, but no pressure if you don't want to. I feel really awkward about saying this bit, but I kind of feel like I should. And yeah, let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me in the future. I love you so much, guys. Bye!